Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Few days back, I asked you one digital design interview question. And the question was, you have to optimize the digital logic which uses comparator, subtractor and a multiplexer. Many of you try to answer it, but in this video, I'm going to give you the exact solution. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see the solution. Friends, before digging deep into the solution, let us revise the problem statement. Here you have to design an optimized digital logic. This is shown by this unknown block. It has two inputs, A and B. A is 4 bits long. It is A3, A2, A1, A0, 4 bits. Similarly, B is B3, B2, B1 and B0. And its output. Output depends upon the input values A and B. If A is greater than or equal to B, output should be equal to A minus B. That is the subtraction of A minus B. Else, output should be equal to A. Now I think the problem statement is clear. Let us see the solution. Friends, firstly I will tell you the solution that is proposed by many of our viewers. So this is the solution proposed by our viewers. If A is greater than B, output is equal to A minus B, else output is equal to A. So there they are putting the comparator, which is implementing this statement. And let us say, when A is greater than or equal to B, and this comparator will give us output as 1. And if it is false, then it will give us 0. So this is comparator to implement this particular statement. And to implement if else statement, we need a 2H21 multiplexer. And to implement this subtraction, we need, need a subtractor. So we will apply A and B to the input of subtractor and it will give us A minus B at its output. Now, if A is greater than or equal to B, this will give us output as 1. So what is the expected output? A minus B. So here we will apply the output of subtractor to this input. And this will be passed to the output. If this is false, Competitor will give its output as 0, so we will pass this input to the output, here we will apply A, so that A can be passed to the output. And this is how we will get the desired results. But just for your knowledge friends, this is the correct circuitry and it will give you the correct results. But this is not digitally optimized logic. In fact, I was expecting this solution from all of you and you gave the same solution. But now I am going to tell you the optimized solution which is very very interesting to know. Friends, on your screen you are seeing the optimized digital logic. Here I have totally eliminated the comparator logic. The trick here is the subtractor can act as a comparator also. Let me reveal it how. So this is a subtractor which is making A minus B. If A is greater than or equal to B, borrow will be always zero. If B is greater than A, then borrow will be 1. If A is greater than or equal to B, borrow is 0. If B is greater than A, borrow is 1. So no need to take separate comparator here. Now let us consider this first condition. If A is greater than or equal to B, then borrow is 0. So borrow is 0. And what should be my output? Output should be A minus B. So output should be A minus B. If borrow is 1, that means else condition, output should be A. So we will apply A here where this will be passed to output. Because borrow is 1, so this input will be passed to the output. So this way we have eliminated the comparator logic. Friends, I hope that this trick would be quite informative for all of you. And with this, I am going to end this video. If you also like this trick, please give a like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And you can share this trick with your colleagues also. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and you can press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.